Well, y'all, I'm a little frustrated. More than I thought I was going to be, man. Um... Let's get it, y'all. Let's go. Welcome back to Chuck's Daily Hustle. Everybody right now, give your boy the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell, man, and then click the all button so that way you know every single time that I post on YouTube, you guys. Do not forget to go down in the description below and check out all the links, man. Help your boy get to the thousand follower mark we are trying to hit on Instagram um, at Chuck's underscore Daily Hustle. And like I said, man, check out all the links in the description, man. There's free money, free stocks, free crypto, um, the links to the supplies that I use every day for me being a used car dealer, you guys. Um, so, man, um, shout out to everybody that's been rocking with me, you guys. Appreciate all of the DMs and all that good stuff. Shout out to everybody that's been doing the consultations, man. So I feel like I've been helping out a lot of people with the consultations. Um, so big ups to you guys. If you guys have done the consultation, if I've benefited you in any type of way in your business, please comment below, you guys. Let everybody know um, what we got going on. And do not forget, man, we're doing the Q&A. Um, and it's been going good so far, you guys. So make sure you comment if you got any type of questions or you requesting any type of video. Um, and if that's something that I can do, I will get on that, you guys. Um, right now, I'm on my way out to the lot, you guys. I'm in the Cadillac DeVille. Um, I believe that's the last pickup video that I did. Um, you know, the crazy thing about this car, you guys, is I, you, if you guys remember, the tread in the front of the car was bad. Figured I'd better show y'all than tell y'all, man. So the tread in the front, man, it's basically brand new, right? And then we got in the back where the tires aren't that good, right? Um, so I did the rotation. We made sure that the PSI was good. And like I uh, well, what I was gonna say was we having issues. So um, I'm probably gonna have to get alignments like veering to the left, you guys. Um, so it is what it is. We got the, so we got two Cadillacs right here that we need to get moved. Um, we need to get these things sold ASAP, of course. We got the Cadillac uh, ca uh, Escalade ESV. This is the Platinum Edition, you guys. Um, this thing is pretty clean. Got about 200,000 miles on it. It is missing the third row, um, but we only had one person come out. He lowballed me, so I didn't uh, end up selling it to him. So um, it is what it is. I'm going to have to repost it. Now that these gas prices are up, nobody wants to really buy any trucks unless they really, really need it. So... Um, you know, it just is what it is. This thing is pretty cool, though, because I know it's got some rush, you guys. We in the state of Minnesota, to everybody that doesn't know. Um, but it's, this one's got everything, man. So it's got everything that came in this year. It's the Platinum Edition, so it's got the uh, DVD player, all that good stuff, sunroof, all of that, man. Um, so anyways, man, right now I'm at the office, and I'm waiting on my Uber to get here. I'm getting ready to go pick up a car. I don't know which one yet. Because I bought three from Mannheim, Minneapolis, you guys. So I'm at Mannheim. I already pulled out the car, you guys. As you can see, it is a Audi, you guys. Um, this has got 173,559 miles. Show you this. I'm going to show you guys the good stuff first. And then I'm going to show you the bad. Um, anyways, I got this thing for about $67.60 out the door. So $6,760. Um, it is a 2012 Audi Q5. It's the S line, so it's got the basically like the premium package. Um, leather interior, of course. You guys, I need to get this thing cleaned out. This is going to be a pretty easy clean, though. Panorama, you know how we go. Um, let me see if this thing is a. Oh, let me see. I didn't even, I don't even think I checked that when I test drove this car, y'all. I'm um, going to see if that thing opens. Let's see. Got a trunk button. All right, that works. That's good. All right, so here that is, you guys. Wonder where the button is to shed it. There it goes. Good, that works. There we go. Pretty good buy, man. I was looking at the market. They're online for like 10 grand, same uh, miles, um, year, same thing. Well, the miles actually a little bit more for about 10 grand, so. Um, at 67.60, I'm like, perfect. I drove the thing. I'm like, man, ain't nothing wrong with it. You know, um, did my thing, make sure I went up the test track actually about three or four times. Um, anyways, the one thing I did notice before, I didn't, I don't know why I didn't pay attention to it that much, 
but um, when um, you put it in park, you guys, right? Or park, um, this thing stays um, in like the backup cameras were still there, right? So anyways, I obviously I looked at everything. I believe that the temperature gauge was working before, but now it's just stuck on cold. Um, so reason why that pipe brake light is on right now, right? Um, let me cut off my phone real quick over there. All right. So anyways, let me take the emergency brake off real quick. Right now I got it in part. Look what happens. I'm just rolling y'all. This thing is rolling. It's rolling. So that's bad news. I don't even know what that could be. I'm assuming that something's going on with the linkage. Um, I'm not even going to say what it could be because I don't want to jinx myself like that. Um, Cause I just had a car that kind of was doing the same thing and it was not a good scenario for us at all. I lost some money on it um, and things happen. But I'm really hoping, <laughs> I'm really, really hoping that this is a simple fix. Um, this is actually my most expensive car right now that I got. So what I'm gonna end up doing, I had a car, um, a Chevy Malibu that I was gonna have Chris knock out but I'm actually gonna go swap it because I need to get my, uh, this is the biggest deal for me right now. So I need to get this thing fixed um, ASAP and then I'll move on to the Chevy Malibu. So I'm gonna show you guys that car. Um, I know I said I was gonna pick up a lot of cars today, but there is a chance that I might not be able to do that because now we got a hiccup in the day. So um, seeming to the fact that I'm by myself and I've been by myself for a while now um, and I'm hopping in Uber. So um, this might be a little tight, man. So anyways, um, at least we're gonna drive this joint I'm gonna show y'all how it drives. Let me get this thing out of out of that emergency brake again. Um, but yeah, we're gonna see how it drives and then we're gonna kind of go from there. So yeah, man, I was happy as heck, man. I came and pick it up, man. I was just excited. Y'all, man, people that's bought cars, man. I don't care if you bought it from the auction or where you bought it from, but I'm sitting there, I'm all happy. I'm like, yeah, man, I got the Audi Q5. Let me make sure this, uh, make sure this hood is checked. Um, but yeah, I'm like, man, let me, uh... oh shoot, all right, there we go. Oh, yeah. all right. So anyways, man, I'm all happy, man. Like, yeah, I'm about to get this, man. I'm about to make this money. It's going to be a good flip. Then boom. Got an issue I never even encountered before. So it's going to be it's going to be a little suspenseful, you guys. Um, but I'm not tripping on it, man. I know that I'm going to make some money on it. Um, even if I have to run it through the auction again, I'll be straight. I didn't even see that this thing was missing. What the heck? Hold on. Oh, there it is right there. All right, we good. All right. So, yeah, so we good. Um, let's get it on, on the uh, street, you guys, and then we'll see how this thing drives. All right, y'all. Let's see what she do, man. Doing 40. Up to 60. That temperature gauge starting to move, in, uh, starting to move too, so that's good. Still seems to be driving good. Not getting no shaking or anything. I'm at about 70 right now, y'all. Probably gonna get it up a little bit more. All right, we almost at 80. So we at 80, it's doing its thing. Okay, so that's good. At least this thing is driving good. So obviously we don't ever, like I always keep on saying, man, you don't ever count your blessings until you get to your final destination. So um, I'm gonna let you guys know once we get over there to Chris's and then I'll show you the Malibu that's still sticking around and then we'll just kind of play it by ear, man. So I'm gonna stay positive, y'all. I know my energy's down a little bit, but you know, five minutes, I'll be back straight. So let's get it. Taking over, taking off. Okay, smashing like you got the smash. Woo, woo, woo. I'm up, 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 I'm up. Well, y'all, I'm a little frustrated more than I thought I was going to be, man. Um, so I messaged Chris, told him what was going on, and uh, he said, well, without a check engine light, ain't nothing too much he can figure out on this Audi. Of course, it's an Audi, and Audi brings problems sometimes. I haven't really had any problems with the Audi, but so he said that, you know, it could be, you know, a transmission issue. 
and hopefully it's not because he ain't gonna be able to do it then you have to bring it to the dealer or you know find somebody that wants to actually do it um you know at their shop or whatever and of course you know that's gonna cost some money um you don't always trust everybody with certain type of cars so um anyways man as i'm driving uh this comes on i'm frustrated y'all check engine light comes on so what we're gonna do is we're gonna reveal this together y'all we're gonna see if we got super bad news or if we just got bad news or what's going to happen, man. So let's check this out, man. I got my code reader. Once again, man, uh, links to my code reader and all the stuff I use is in the description below, y'all. Um, let's see what they got. This just says cooling system performance. Okay, that would make sense for that uh, that thermostat going on. So now, since the check engine light came on, now that what that's telling me is that this dealer cleared the codes. You know what I'm saying? So... I'm a little upset because this is a big dealer here in Minnesota. It's called more. I'm just going to go ahead and tell y'all the name. It's called Maury's. Um, and a lot of times people don't like buying from them, but I have bought, I've bought cars from them over the years, but not expensive car. Um, but now I'm kind of seeing why. Um, so we got system two, uh, rich bank one, bank two. Um, let's go over here or let me go to a pending, see if there's anything pending. Um, just to cool. And then now we're going to check the transmission and see what we got codes in there. No codes, anything pending, no pending codes. So um, we're gonna have to see exactly what happens, man, when uh, Chris gets out here. He he has uh, an actual scan, to, uh, he's got a snap on, so he'll be able to get in there a lot more than I can and then uh, see what he finds. And then we're just gonna have to kind of go from there. Uh, worst case scenario, we're gonna either break even or lose some money on this. So. I'm gonna have to uh, basically run this thing. Wait a minute. Hold on, y'all. This is weird. So now it's in park, but it's not rolling. Let me see. Let me hit the gas a little bit. It's not moving. I'm confused now. Let's see something. Reverse. Okay. Put it back in park. Let me see if it goes forward. It's not moving. Let, let's 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 play around with this real quick, y'all. I want to see if it was just stuck or something. If that's the case, then we Gucci. But you know, with these cars, man, you never know. Nope, going forward. So what is? Is it going for it? Yeah, it's going for it. Um, let's see, put it in drive. Let's see. Yeah, man, this is weird. I'm not going to even stress myself out about it. I got stuff to do. Um, so we're going to let the mechanic do their job. And uh, we're going to keep it moving and grooving, y'all. So um, hopefully I got enough time to get to a couple more spots. I don't know for sure, but we're going to uh, hop on this road. I'm going to show you guys this Malibu, matter of fact, before we get up out of here. Um, let me show you all this thing real quick. Comment below, man. Let me know. Would you be crying right now? $6,760, y'all. I just spent, and I hope it didn't go down the drain, to be honest with you. About to cry. Anyways, um, here's the Malibu, you guys. Um, this one's the 08. And I, it's got a, like a cylinder misfire on four. It only, I guess I got to get the key. It's got 126,000 miles on it. Um, it only misfires like at an idle. Um, and y'all know how that goes. I've had a couple cars that do that. Usually it ends up being like a lifter or something. But that's got a four cylinder in there. Um, so I don't really know. Um, we've done spark plugs, coils, fuel injector. Um, so now we just got to figure out, you know, what's the next step. Um, I doubt it. It's a head gasket. So maybe it is a lifter. Maybe it's something, uh, you know, uh, not mechanical, but electrical. That could be a possibility. Um, but who knows? And then uh, we got in here, you guys, my Suburban. This thing's been hell. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I got projects on top of projects, man. Um, 
basically something simple turned into something complicated, man. Um, if you guys watch my other video, I'll tell you about the heater core and stuff. We got stuff that's melted because of the coolant that went into the wires. <laughs> it's just crazy, man. But at the end of the day, man, we bought them. That's the thing about buying um, where you can leave yourself some room just in case things happen. You know, I try to make it where I just add about $300, $400 on top of me knowing that that's how much I'm probably going to spend. But sometimes you can pay a little, you know, it'd be a little bit more, you know, that you end up paying in repairs. But if you buy right, then you're not going to be there and be all depressed. You know, I can sell these cars. I can make money on it or maybe I'll break even. Maybe I'll lose like a couple hundred, but that's better than, um, you know, losing a couple of thousand, man. So just make sure y'all going out to these auctions, test driving, doing your due diligence. Don't buy blind unless you got certain insurance at the auction that'll let you bring your cars back, man. Um, but let's move on to the next thing. I'm gonna stop talking y'all ears off. Let's get it. All right, y'all. So I am back at Manhattan, Minneapolis. Ended up taking another Uber out here, you guys. I didn't broke my dang, um, whatever you call it. I don't even know, man. My my thought process is all messed up. But <laughs> basically, I'm using my hand um, to use this camera, man. So I got a 2013 Ford Focus that I'm picking up right now, you guys. Got 187,000 miles on it. I got this thing for like 2,300 out the door. As you can see. It's got some flaws right there. Nothing too major. It's got that young Minnesota rust as we are all used to at by this time. Um, interior needs like a cleaning. Just not anything crazy. I can get those seats done myself. I already got my backpack and stuff up in there. Um, let's see what we got here. So yeah, man, it's pretty darn clean. Nothing too major. Now, when I drove it yesterday, everything was cool on it. So I'm hoping that we are going to end this bad luck streak, you guys. So there she is, man. Um, comment below, tell me if I got a good deal, man. 2200, like 2250 probably out the door, y'all. Um, and it's a 2013, so um, Minnesota market looking like, I think it's like $3,500 is kind of what these is worth, um, which is really surprising to me just because of the year. But um, either way it goes, man, um, there's some profit to be made in this one. Um, so I'm excited about this and I hope that I stay excited, <laughs> you know. All right, y'all, let's see what she do. It's 40, 50, 60. Oh, we got some traffic coming up, 65. I think that's good. We need front brakes and rotors for sure. So, yeah, so that looks like basically front brakes and rotors on this one, you guys. And uh, I'm gonna get an oil change because I'm um, looking at the sticker, it's like 3,000 miles above it. Um, but yeah, I'm cool with this for now. I'm gonna give you guys like the final update on tomorrow's video just because I don't have my um, actual sticker, or whatever. I don't even know what you call that thing, <laughs> but I don't got it to hold this camera, so I don't want to get to a car crash, you guys. I gotta stay safe. I will see you guys on the next video, man. If you liked me, messing up in life go ahead and give a thumbs up to this video i got the police right behind me i'm out Peace.